In today's video, I've got an absolute blast from the past. Like, I can't believe I'm actually looking at this again. So, I want to introduce you to RPG Maker XP. And as the name suggests, you make your own RPG. So, I'm not going to be making a full game. Like, I've done that in the past, way back when. I'm talking when I was still in school, so about 15 years ago, maybe. I don't actually know when this got released, but it was a long, long time ago. And nothing seems to have changed. I seen it was free on Steam and thought, you know what, I'm having it. So, we're going to have a little look around it and we're just going to make, like, a little map here, we're going to have a few battles, we're just go I'm just going to show you what it's like, and if it interests you, go and check it out, it's, it's awesome, honest to God. So, over here you've got like your tile sets and stuff, so you can have like, I don't know, like bits of dirt road, you can have some like water around the sides here, make yourself a little bit of a, you know, nice little bit of terrain. So, you've got that, then you've got moving over. You've got an undo button, so if you didn't like that, you can just take it out. Then you've got layers, so you've got the bottom layer, the middle layer, and the top layer. This is so you can stack things on top of each other, so, say for example, this, what would you call it, tree stump, sorry, would be here, just like that sort of thing, um, because that'll be on the second layer. If you were to put that on the first layer, you would end up with something that doesn't look quite right, like that, you know what I'm saying? So, you'd have it on the second layer, and that's when you build it, you know, so that's how that works. And then you also have the third layer as well. And again, that's just an, uh, another additional layer for you. So if you were putting flowers and stuff like that, you'd want them on the second layer. Uh, shrubs, I guess you'd want them on the second layer as well. And then moving over, we've got the events one. Now this one. So this S is an event and this is our start and tile. So if we wanted to add something here, we could do that right here. We can add a graphic if we wanted to. So say if it was a person, we can have a person there. And then if the conditions, you can change all of these, but I'm not really going to go into all this type of stuff. Um, but there's a load of stuff. There's all different variables and stuff like that. You've got trigger. You can trigger with an action button or play a touch, event touch, auto run. So you press a button and it activates. You can When your player touches this person, it would activate event touch all that type of stuff so then we go over here and this is the list of event commands and we can insert stuff here so we could do text and we could say i don't know let's say this person's name is jane i don't know and then we could go uh hello welcome to bambi selects new game uh new rpg have fun so you could just do that and then press ok and then it could also say there's all sorts so you can do show choices input number change text options but there's loads and loads and loads of stuff as you can see here so you can make this person move as well i believe i can't remember how to do all that you can make sure you can add items so they could say i don't know so let's show text again and say Jane, here, have a potion. Um, I was going to add a smile, but that doesn't really work, does it? So yeah, you do that, and then you go insert, uh, change items, potion, constant, increase by one. There you go. And then she can say something like, I don't know, Jane, uh... See ya. Right? And then can I make a move? Can I remember how to make her move? I'm going to say I don't remember how to make them move. Unfortunately. So what you would do if you wanted this person to finish. Oh yeah, I know there's different pages. That's it. So scroll map, show animation. Uh, set move route. So I want them to go. Where are they? They're here. So I want them to go up and up. Okay. And then I'll insert an erase event, wherever that is. That'll be on page one. So erase event there. I'm just going to have a little look on what's num number three as well, battle processing. So then you can start battles if you wanted to. So say if you were like against an enemy, we can have a look at that in a minute. Change XP, change level. There's all sorts of cool stuff that you can do. Change enemy HP. It's, it's, it's just, it's so in depth. It's so much fun as well, just to experiment with all this stuff and just go through it all you know so let's just have a look at that now and see what that looks like so up over here we've got the playtest so we can go into it 
and you say save it, yep, and then it'll take us into the game. And we'll be able to actually play this. Sorry if it's loud. In fact, no, you can't even hear it, can you? There you go, you can hear it now. Sorry if it's loud, I'll try and lower it down. There we go, that's a bit lower now. That is the game, let me get it back up. Here it is, so now we go into it. And now we can move around that thing that we made there. And I'm guessing it's spacebar. Hello, welcome to Bambi Select's new RPG. Have fun. Hi here, have a potion. See ya. And then, oh, why didn't she move? Oh no, it was me that moved. So there's a lot of that as well. There's a lot of playtesting and stuff. So let's edit these. So we don't want that. We want something in here. We want the we want the actual person to move. Okay, so here we are back in the move route. And I, I want it to be the event. So that's just where I messed up before. So I want it to be this event. Now I want them to go up, then up. And then I want them to erase. So now we can go back into that now and try that again. And that should work. So here we are going into the game. New game. Let's walk up here. Let's talk to this person. Here's a potion. See ya. She just done it again. Okay, so we try again. Uh, okay, so there is a lot of this to it. So we can edit this now. And then if we put this, okay. Is it Evo 1? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Event number 1. Let's see if this now works. And then we should actually, I think that's what it is. I need to wait afterwards as well. So if I wait, I guess, I don't know, let's do 60 frames just to see. And then press play. There we go. And I'll talk to them. There you go. So now they walk away and 60 frames is too much. So, there's a lot of that. We are going to just adjust that to maybe, I don't know, 30, I guess. So, right-click, edit, and we'll go 30 frames, and that should be okay. So, I'm going to have a little play and just edit a few things and have a little bit of fun with it while I can. So, we're on the first layer, and we want some water in. So, she's going out this way. And I kind of want it to be that, like that. And then I'm going to come around this way. And the only way we're going as well is up. So we'll add a little thing here. Maybe we can add, add a big old tree. I don't know. Maybe just here. Very good. Maybe one there. And then maybe there could be like an old, an old one somewhere like here. There we go. So that's looking good already. So maybe there's a, an old campfire there. I don't know, maybe there's, uh, be on layer 2 this, yeah, definitely. I don't know, a bit of shrubbery there. Now, this bit looks a bit weird now, so we're going to take these off. Uh, maybe just do it that way. Uh, the same with the flowers, they look a bit odd in the water. And I think that should be me for all of what I, I want it to look like. What we can do as well is come down to the map properties if we did want to make it bigger. Uh, okay, and then we can change the background music as well, so we can play, you know. So we wanted to just, I don't know, field number one. I'm going to lower it down a bit. There we go. And then encounters, you can add encounters as well. So we'll add some ghosts in there. Um, is that the only thing we can do? No, we can edit some more. Uh, basilisk, okay. Steps average, so now when we go back into the game, we should be having some battles as well, and we can level up. So let's have a look at the battle system and see what that's like. There we go, so now I'm looking around, here's what it is, we can't actually get through them. So that's something we can look at as well. So here we go, we're actually in a battle now with basilisks. And now we've got different skills that we can use, so cross cut, I remember that one, and then leg sweep was his one. And then we can just do normal attacks as well if we really wanted to, or we could defend. We've got fire as well, so proper old school battle system, you know, really good fun, really good fun. Now, let's see if these are actually really strong, you probably are. Oh, no, we're okay, we beat them. Right, just attack, attack, attack. There we are. And then you get your XP and all stuff like that, and it's all good. So, let's have a look at the menus as well. So, here you can check all your skills and stuff. I'll go into all the skills in a, in a while. You can change all your accessories and stuff. You can uh, check your, your status and stuff like that. 
status, whichever way you want to say it. So, let's speak to this one again. There's your potion. Let's see if that potion did actually go into our inventory as well. There you go. There's the potion there as well. So, say you wanted to go onto a different map. You'd come down here and you say new map. And then it's going to be another grassland, let's face it. And then you kind of want to remember what that looked like. Maybe this one's a bit bigger as well. So maybe we can do 30 by 20. And now we'll get the fill tool. And we're just going to fill that in. So that there. And then we're going to go... Same again. We're coming in about here, I'd say. About that. And then we're just going to... Quickly sketch out something. It's not going to be as good as it was before because I don't really want to waste too much time doing this. Maybe it's a little island here and maybe this comes out something like that. I don't know, whatever. <clears throat> there you go. We'll get rid of that there. And say we want some events here. So here we could have an item. You know what I mean? One of them hidden items that you can get usually in them. So change items. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we can get an elixir. And then we can insert a erase event straight after. And this only comes when the player touches it. But what we also want is a text saying, You found an elixir here, yeah, here, yeah, like that. There we go. And then press OK. So now. We can actually move that if you wanted to, because I actually wanted it there. So, we're going to decorate this just a touch more. It, does the grass go here? No, see, that's wrong. The grass is definitely on the second layer. Just like that. And then maybe we can have one of these in there. Maybe they can just be, like, bushes like that. There's so much that you can do. Just you just got to experiment and have a bit of fun with it. Maybe this tree goes right there. And maybe this one is another one that can go here. And maybe there's one there. And maybe there is a an old beaten one right in the middle. Well, that doesn't work now, does it? So what we'll do, we'll grab this one again. And then we'll put it next to it like that. So it moves everything over. Also, what you can have is like a bridge almost, I guess. I guess this could work. Let's just have a little look. I mean, I don't think you'd be able to walk across that. I'm sure you could do bridges, though, if I remember right. So... Um, now we want to transfer to that map, say for example, uh, let's add a little bit of dirt road as well, just to, you know, make it a bit more interesting. And then let's maybe cut this corner off so we can't actually go further up, just like that. And I think that looks good to me. Maybe we can add some of these as well, these are always pretty cool. So this is a middle layer as well, so maybe we could add like... You know, stuff like this. And um, maybe there's a bit down here. Over here. Maybe it's all over here. Just like that. And maybe there was a campfire over there as well. So, as you can see, this is already starting to take shape. And I've been doing it, what, about... About not even 20 minutes. So, here now, my properties. We need the same encounters like we did last time. So... Again, we're going to go with the Basilisk. And maybe we'll have a Basilisk with three in this one as well. Just like that. So yeah, there you go. And then the background music, again, it's just going to be the field number one at about that. So there we are. And that is good. So you can name these maps as well if you wanted to. I'm not going to. So here now, if we go back onto the events tab, we can go... Here, and it should be transfer player to map 2. And then we're going to come in here, I think. No, scroll down, make sure we're in the right place. See, no, here. We'll go middle here. There we are. Yep, there you go. And then what we'll do here as well is make sure that it is on player touch. And then what you can do here is just copy... And then paste those. So all of them tiles now will take me to this map. But we also need to do it on the, this side as well. So we'll just get rid of these there quick. Just like that. So it matches the other side. You see what I mean? <clears throat> so we're coming in here now. So now what we need to do is do it the opposite way. 
So transfer player to map one. And we want them to go here in the middle. And that is spot on player touch. And now what we can do here is copy, paste, paste. And now let us see if we can go and get that elixir. And yeah, I think that's where we'll carry on looking at the database and stuff like that and see what's, you know, what's different and what, what, what you can actually do in this game because there's so much. I keep calling it a game. It's not to make it where you make the game, but you get what I mean. So yeah, let's go back into the game and see if we can get that elixir. Okay, so here we go. There's the potion. They're going to go. And now look, we're in this map. Now we're fighting. We're just going to keep attacking. Oh, you missed. Gloria, you're terrible. Okay. Let's use uh, your skill. Let's heal that one. And then use fire on that one. There we go. Heal. So Alexis, Aluxus is healed. And then fire there. And then we can just attack now. There we are. Will we level up? Nope. Okay, so now we're going to get that elixir. Okay, that was... That was a bit quick, weren't it? No, no, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. There we go. So we can use escape to do that. And then maybe see what this one is. Yep, there we go. Now, there are people out there. You can actually download other people's games. And some of them are just full games, you know what I mean? You'd never think anything. You'd, you'd, you'd have a really good time playing them, so... If you wanted to, you can play other people's, that's what I'm trying to say, so... Really good stuff. Alright, it should be over now. Still no leveling up. Right, we are... There we go, we found the elixir, and then if we go into our items... We can see the elixir's also gone in as well. So we've got a potion and an elixir so far. And that is where we're up to with that. So now, I want to show you the database because this thing is just... This is so in-depth. So here you can create actors. So if I change the maximum, I can go to this one now. I can name it. So we can call it Bambi, I guess. Uh, class, let's have a warrior. Initial level 1. And then you can change the, the base inflation. So what if I bring this up now? The, that means that all my stats and stuff... Oh no, sorry. So this is how much you need to actually level up. Sorry, I got confused there. This is how much you need to actually level up. So if you add it all the way up here, it's going to be a grind to get you leveling up. Or you can have it a little bit lower, a little bit higher. Whatever you want it. So we'll just have it there for now. And then these, I believe you should be able to randomize these or generate curve. That's what you could do, yeah. So you could do your max and then it would scale it that way, you know what I mean? So you could do quick settings as well. So if you were doing it like a, I don't know, So I suppose a bit like you, if you're ever playing D&D &D and stuff like that, this is what you'd be doing. Your strength, your dexterity, your agility, you can just sort of, you can draw as well if you really wanted to. So I don't know why you'd ever do that, but, you know, you can. And then you can do, like, starting equipment. So we'll have a bronze axe, a bronze shield, bronze helm, bronze armor, and ring of... No, we won't have any accessory because you never have accessories. So we can pick from warriors. Let's go with this warrior for now. No, let's go with warrior two. So this one. And you can also change the hue. So you can change the color of it and stuff like that. So... There's that, and then you can also match up the battle graphic as well. So it was Warrior 2, so there it is. And then you can then add that into the game if you really wanted to. Then you've got different types of classes. You can create your own classes, where you can pick the equipable weapons, equipable armors. You can do the element efficiency, state efficiency. You know, there's all sorts you can do there. You can add skills. You can look at all the different skills that are on there. You can actually change the maximum and create your own skill. With different types of, like, animations and stuff like that, you know. So, there's so much. Items, you can create your own items. We've already got some items there as default as well. Same with the weapons. Armors, enemies. Enemies are really good. Like, I believe there's more in the 
graphics. So they're actually the main not be, but look at these, look at these. Look at that for a final boss or like a secret boss you could have it as. There's so many different ones. Oh, I remember this dude. That takes me back. This one takes me back. I had like a, a pretty decent game. It was about an hour long. And he was your final boss. Uh, and this one was a, a secret boss that you could fight, which was next to impossible to beat back in the day. But yeah, oh, I remember that one as well. This is just crazy. I just remember all of these from way back when. These are so old. Like, it's crazy. But yeah, this is this is what it's like. It's so much fun. Troops, it, it's a good entry level to making games, I'd say, as well. So you can add troops as well. So like you can change the maximum. I'll actually create one of these just to show you what they're like. So you can say, okay, well, I want this guy in there. I also want a troll in there as well. So there you go. You can have them. And then you can name that something now. Angel. Troll. Just like that. And then you can apply that. You know what I mean? So there's so much you can do. States. I can't remember what states are. Oh, yeah. So, so like, is it? Yeah. Knockout, stun, venom, dazzle, all that type of stuff. So like. You could add, like, Petrify if you wanted to and stuff. You know, you could add whatever you wanted to. Then you got all different types of animations and stuff like that, which you can test and, you know, play the hit. Watch this. There you go. So, they're all, they're all different ones. Raise. Let's see what that's like. There you go. Spot on. And then tile sets as well. You can download different tile sets, I believe, as well. I can't remember how you do that, but I used to... I'm sure I used to do stuff like that as well. But, yeah, that is pretty much... Um... RPG Maker XP, but you can also here in the map tile set thing. So if I go new map now and I say, I don't know, castle. Say if you want to do like a cutscene and stuff, you could actually do a cutscene as well. So castle, if we go to map properties now and we look for something like castle. Uh, castle in, there we go. So now we've got a complete castle tile set that we can play around with and just create all sorts of craziness, you know. So the thing about walls in this game, you'd need to do it like, sort of like, not like that, but like this, right the way along. So now you've got walls, but then you can also add now on the third layer, little windows. Do you get what I mean? So... It's all about layers, all about layers. So now we've got this pretty cool looking castle layout so far. And then maybe we can have like a an outer rim of... In fact, no, we'd have it like this. This side, oh, one second. This side down here. And then maybe we'll have like, I don't know, I remember you could have like rugs and stuff like that, if I remember right. Maybe not in this one. No, oh no, there it is, there we go, there we go. So maybe we could have like a, uh, on the second layer, we could have a, a rug that comes around like this. You know, and then, I don't know, maybe we can just fill that there quick, just like that. And then on the third layer, you could have, uh, I don't know, maybe like a, a clock on the back wall. Oh, geez, not that many. You know, there's a million and one things you could do. And I used to just play this over and over and over and just create little stories. And it was just so much fun. So we'll have a table there. We'll have a table, uh, a chair, sorry, a chair there as well. And then I can't remember how to, oh yeah, I remember. So we do one side there and then we can extend this right the way out and then have the other side of the table there. And then, uh, can you have food? Well, uh, it's in the wrong layer. I'd have to go back and adjust all that. But that is pretty much RPG Maker XP. And honestly, this takes me back to being a teenager. Like, you wouldn't believe. So, let me know what you think down below. Have you tried RPG Maker XP? Um, yeah, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. I don't know whether I will make a game. This was just like a nostalgia hit that I just really needed. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.